Welcome back to Access Houston on 97.9 The Box. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth. Oh, it is that time of year again. A lot of events happening for Thanksgiving. And my good people over at Baker Ripley Neighborhood Centers are here. Please welcome Miss Holly Brock, who is the manager of special projects and events. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. And welcoming back Frederick Goodall, the director of marketing. Good morning. Good to see you, man. Good morning. Good to see you, too. Indeed. So, um... Let's talk about the uh, the big Baker Ripley turkey trot. I really love what this is. Well, first of all, before we even get into the turkey trot, there may be a lot of people who don't even know the incredible services and how much you all are needed in the community with everything uh, that you all do from helping the homeless with helping Harvey Relief, uh, tax help. I mean, you guys do it all. Uh, but Tell the people who may not be familiar with Baker Ripley um, what it is you all do. Well, Baker Ripley has served this community for more than 110 years. Uh, We do this in various capacities. As you mentioned, uh, we have tax services. uh, We have education services. We have senior services, especially with caregivers and uh, people with uh, different stages of dementia. Uh, Job training, job education. Uh, we have charter schools. We have so many services all around the city. We just built a brand new community center in our East Aldean community. Mm. Uh, so that's having a huge impact. And this is the, it also has the first uh, Fab Lab, Fab Lab Houston, which is a place where makers and people can go and, and experiment with digital technology, uh, start businesses, build prototypes, and just learn really? about uh, 3D printing, all kinds of things, all kinds of technology. We're very excited about that and looking forward to everybody in Houston testing out Fab Lab Houston and coming out to our new community center. Oh, man, that sounds amazing. That is amazing. I mean, it, the capacity uh, of that place and the things that will come out of this place, I'm so excited about it because I know so many new entrepreneurs, so many new products, so many people out of that community community that mm-hmm. a lot of people really discounted, but right. we, we saw a lot of potential in that community and worked with the community to develop something that they wanted and they needed and they felt was important for that community. So we're really, really, really excited about what's going to happen. Uh, oh, so this is upcoming. This is up and coming. It's, no, it's the, open, the community open center opened uh, opened earlier this year. We had the okay. grand opening in September. Uh, Fab Lab Houston is open. Uh, you can go there and try it out and test it out. And uh, we're just excited to see what's going to happen. There. Oh, man, that sounds... That sounds absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm amazing. speechless. Yes. I didn't know that all of that yes. was um, offered and available. Yes. yes, yes. Yeah, so that's great. So, Holly, tell us about the Baker Ripley Turkey Trot. Yes. So, the uh, the Houston Turkey Trot's been around for 26 years now. 26 yes. years. So, it's a longstanding tradition in Houston. Um, it, of course, benefits us mm-hmm. at Baker Ripley and the work that we do in the communities that we serve. So um, it is it's all about the cause. So uh, we encourage everyone to yes. participate, come join the party. But we have a, a 5K, a 10K, and a kids run that happens on Thanksgiving morning. So it's a great way to start off your your, your day of feasting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, get the, get the workout out exactly. the way. Exactly. Right. Burn right. some right. calories, give some thanks, and give back to the community by joining us on race day. But we are back in our home course, back in Dillard's Galleria, um, Westheimer, mm-hmm. that area. Westheim, uh, Post Oak, is that it? Is yes, that it? Mm-hmm. Post Oak. And... Um, our course is up on HoustonTurkeyTrot.org, so definitely go and check that out. Um, for those have, that have participated for a really long time, know that we got booted due to construction last year, so yeah. we're back home, so we're really excited to be back on our old course. Yeah, they still got a little something. That intersection right there, they've they've got a little something, but it's not going to affect nope. what's going to be we happening be on Thanksgiving morning. The roads will be open. Yeah. So. <laughs> cool. Except listening? for the runners. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, we'll be blocked right, right. on the roads, but <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're listening to Access Houston. We're talking to Holly and Frederick from Baker Ripley, the Baker Ripley Turkey Trot happening on Thanksgiving morning, which is November 22nd, beginning at 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. This is their uh, annual event. What is it that you all look forward to the most for uh, the Turkey Trot? What's the most exciting part for you all? Holly, I'll go Ooh, to you first. For me, it's, it's seeing everyone there. I just, I still can't believe every single year when this race happens, we're at the starting line. I still can't believe how many people show up every year. It's it's an amazing thing to witness. So. Yeah, and and you guys have like over twenty thousand 
supporters that come through? Not quite that high. Uh, we we have usually between fourteen and fifteen thousand okay. participants that join us. That's still yeah, a lot of so people. Yeah, so it's a lot, a lot of people. people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, nothing to discount. Frederick, what's your favorite part about it? I mean, just like Holly, it, it is amazing. I usually uh, stand on the stage with the uh, MCs during the whole thing, and to look out in that sea of people. And so many people just standing out there. And when the race starts, have them come by and have them waving at everybody. And also the costumes that people wear Ooh, yeah. for yeah. the turkey trot. Uh, you will be amazed what people dress up as and, <laughs> and how they go all out for turkey trot. Yes. So it's really amazing to see how they dress up. And it, it's often quite comical. <laughs> right. yeah. I bet it is. Because people like right. to go all out right. here. That is yes, one thing do. that I've noticed about Houston. Houston right. is a very participating yes. city. Right. Yes. They, yes. they yes. will uh, do what it takes to uh, to get noticed. But Absolutely. it's also good to see people come out to support the cause, to support yeah. Baker Ripley, to yeah. get out and do something for their community. And knowing that they may uh, do the 10K or 5K or do the kids race, but they're knowing that it's impacting a bigger cause and helping their neighbors all around Houston. Indeed. You listen to Access Houston talking to Frederick and Holly from Baker Ripley for the Baker Ripley Turkey Trot. Um, so uh, s- speaking of that, I understand that you all are going to have um, this life-sized Baker Ripley uh, Turkey Trot turkey. Tell us about the turkey. <laughs> Tell us about this life-size turkey. Yes. So uh, we have a fantastic mascot named Sassy. She Sassy. is a life-size turkey <laughs> uh, with a big old personality to go with it. But I mean, you- with a name like Sassy, <laughs> right? Sure she's, yes. she's got to have yes. a big personality. Yes. But she will be out there. Um, Traipsing around on on race day, keep an eye out for her. Yes. She loves taking pictures. Yes. Uh-huh. So Sassy just, loves selfies. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sassy loves selfies. Yes. Yeah. Just don't talk about what you're going to eat later in the day. We all appreciate. It. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to Access Houston. What? Uh, so so after that, what do you all have planned for the holidays? Just the the, the typical. You know, family, turkey dressing, you know, all the fixings. Yeah, pretty much. I do a lot of family hopping. So it's uh-huh. a lot of eating and a lot of driving, yeah. but it's always a good day. Yeah. <laughs> so as you can imagine, to get ready for this event, uh, we have to get there pretty early yeah. <laughs> yeah. to get set up. So uh, immediately after the race, we take a nap. Take a nap. <laughs> and then we participate yeah, in all the other things. participate in all the events. other things. <laughs> yes. Yes. So um, can, people can register for the, the run now? Absolutely, yes. Okay. Um, registration is open. HoustonTurkeyTrot.org is where you can find that online registration. Oh, that's and, easy. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we have 5K is $35 right now to register. Uh, 10K is 40 And then the kids run, is, kids run and seniors that are 70 years and older is $20. Yes, mm-hmm. and we're offering mm-hmm. a special discount for uh, the box listeners. If you use the code 5 the box. Oh. That's five, the number five, the box. Okay. When you register, you will receive a discount. Use the exactly. code five, the box, for your uh, discount. You Correct. got it. For, for registering for the uh, for the turkey trot. Oh, well, I, I, we feel special that <laughs> yeah, we, you we are have a special, special code yes. Just for, you. for the exactly. turkey trot. Now you have no reason not to register. I, I a know, discount, right? a great cause, a fun event. There you go. The, so. There you go. I mean, and, <laughs> and, and and that's it. So log on to HoustonTurkeyTrot.org. HoustonTurkeyTrot.org. Yes. And then if you enter in that code, five, the box, a little discount on your registration. So uh, get ready. Eat, eat your Wheaties that morning for the for the Baker Ripley Turkey Trot 5K Walk Run. And uh, I'll be out there. Fantastic. We'll be out there to, to, to get it started, man. Good. Thank you guys for stopping by and, and letting us Thank know. Thank you for and having us. Use five the box for that discount, man. We we got our own, we got our own discount offer code. Come Thank on you. now. Yes. So so <laughs> thank you, Ms. Holly Brock and Frederick Goodall from Baker Ripley. I appreciate you guys coming on. Thank hey, you. Hey, we appreciate being here. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth. Welcoming back my guy. He is the founder of Houston Moves. Ladies and gentlemen, Dewan Clayboy. What's up, G? What's going on, KG? Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. It's always a pleasure you having me here. Yeah, man. I couldn't get you on the last time uh, the show got overbooked. Um, 
But you was like, you know what? I'm going to reach out to you a lot sooner next yeah. time I got something going on. And you did. Yeah. And we're here. So, yes. Uh, and, hey, oh, being overbooked is always a good thing. I never like to stop somebody from being successful. So that's that shows good on your behalf. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you, G. I mean, I was, but I honestly wanted to, uh, I wanted to have you on, and then I was really thinking of who I could have bumped to have you on, but all of the ones that were there, they had priority, but uh, but you're here now. I'm here now. I'm here now. Um, Houston Moves, tell the folks about Houston Moves and why you uh, started this organization. So it's an organization, uh, Houston Moves, where we give back to the community. Uh, we host different high-end networking events that are very diverse. Diversity is our advantage. Uh, Houston most diverse city in the U.S. So mm-hmm. we like to create an aroma of different type of individuals uh, and have a place where there is some high-end networking. And hopefully business deals come from that. But at the end of the day, we always give back to a good cause or serve the community. Which exactly uh, what you are doing. Um, well, you, you got two things coming up two, here, yeah. brother. Uh, <laughs> coming up this weekend for uh, Thanksgiving, you've got the Bourbon Masquerade Ball that's going to yes. be at uh, the India House. What's this about? So the Bourbon Masquerade Ball is uh, going to be live band um a lot of different vendors, Houston local vendors, going to have food tasting, food pairing with some of your high end bourbons, mm. um, some a uh, small art show, uh, but just kind of just to have to give people something to do during Thanksgiving. You know, Thanksgiving it's like you want to eat Thanksgiving food. Friday, Black mm, Friday, Friday leftovers, know, and then Saturday you want to go do something. So yeah. it's a bourbon masquerade ball night to just be a little different. I like that. So Thanksgiving Saturday, the bourbon masquerade ball, yes. but um, the what I love that you're doing, what Houston Moves uh, is doing, you have the Houston Moves Scholarship Program, where you're going to yes. be given a $500 scholarship to a deserving uh, student. And um, they have to have a 3.0 GPA. Yes, 3.0 GPA. And they must write a uh, two-page essay. Two-page essay. Tell yes. us about it. So, um I was praying one night and, you know, God has just been blessing me all year. And so I was like, I need to end the year strong. And so he put on my heart to give $500 back. You know, to me, I was kind of, you know, down. I was like, man, I wish I could have did a thousand. I wish I would have budgeted. Mm -hmm. I I literally didn't. And, you know, talking to some of my friends and support, they're like, hey, $500 is still good. You know, so um, that's a book or two. Right, right. That's a book. You know, anything, you know, is helpful. And so what I want to do with the $500 scholarship is the student has to submit an essay on what is your why. You know, why do you wake up in the morning? What do you want to be? Why do you want to be that? You know, why do you listen to your parents? Why do you do the right thing when you know you can do the wrong thing? You know, just to kind of open their mind, expand it. Because when I was little, I was an athlete. You know, I played basketball, football, all the sports. So mm-hmm. I just knew I was going to the NBA until, you know, I got to college. <laughs> and I was like, okay, these people are a little bit larger than me. Yeah, <laughs> maybe not. And so just, um, you know, trying to find a way to give back. Um, And I know a lot of people have different ways they give back, but I'm a big believer that God gives us resources in order to give back and bless others. So I want to be a resource to someone that really needs that because he has blessed me and and I'm able to do that. No doubt. I like that. You listen to Access Houston and talking to Dewan Claiborne from Houston Moves. The uh, Bourbon Masquerade Ball is happening this Saturday, Thanksgiving Saturday at the India House. What time do I kick off? 7 to 11 p.m. 7 to 11. Yeah. And then... uh, um, Houston Moves Scholarship Program, uh, where he's given a $500 scholarship to uh, a student. What is your why? Must have yes. a 3.0 uh, GPA or higher in order to uh, do that and write a two-page essay on that. You mentioned that you played sports, uh, football did. and basketball. Yes. I'm trying to guess by your body type on football. First, uh, 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 um, what side of the team did you play? With defense or offense? I was, well, first of all, I was basketball division one. Um, and so I went to University of Central Arkansas, the same school Scotty Pippen went to. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, Point guard. I'm, I was going to guess, <laughs> Dewan. Oh, I'm sorry. It's an open book test. I was going to guess. <laughs> Point guard. Okay, that's the basketball. All right. So, uh, football. You you played on defense or offense? Oh, both. In, oh, in you, high oh school. you were both in high school. Yeah, both. in high school. So yeah. Whew, from your height and your body type, and then I got to think high school. So maybe the waist might have been a little smaller, right, just a little, little more bit. Of an pack. <laughs> um, corner. Corner. Yep. Yeah. And. 
Ooh, corner and both on defense. What was you, uh, safety? There you go. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, ding, safety. ding, ding. Tell him yeah. what he's won, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, a free ticket to the Bourbon Masquerade Ball. <laughs> hey, how about it? And, and I, shh, yeah. I'll be there. Yeah, I don't have anything it's, to it's do Saturday. It's about time for me either. to see you anyway. You know? I know, right? It, it, it's been a while. Yeah. Um, tell me the inspiration as to why you wanted to focus on the kids. Um, so I do a lot of giving back and volunteering um, with, with my church. I try to, you know, I try to show and uh, visualize and post pictures on social media, but sometimes I forget, you know. So I've been in a mentorship with my church, the Church Without Walls, where we have a boys to men mentorship. And so right there, we talk about real deal questions with the boys. Like, you know, if people are talking about sex or drugs, you know, how do you feel about that? Gangs. Gangs. That's a, that's a yeah, now. exactly. Stuff that they wouldn't feel comfortable talking to their mother about because a lot of them are single parent homes, mm. you know. And so uh, we split them up from middle school to high school. So just me engaging and developing a relationship with the high school and some of them thinking that they have no way to go to college because their parents don't have the funds and resources. And I'm just like, you know, man, I I and others who have those resources should definitely look into, you know, doing scholarship. I know a lot of people give back, but nothing's better than doing, you know, financially that you can see your dollars go to work by, you know, helping someone through school. So hopefully this challenges other, you know, successful, you know, business owners in our community to want to actually, you know, not just, you know, um, host an event, but give back financially and watch your dollars work. No doubt. I like that a lot. This man has got a lot going on. I mean, we had great vibes from the first time, right. you know, we had met uh, almost a year ago exactly. at, a, at, a, at a certain event. Yeah. Um, the Bourbon Masquerade Ball, what's the dress for that? How, how so should they it's, it's going to be uh, cocktail attire, black okay. tie, you know, and uh, if you don't have a mask, it's fine. We'll have multiple masks there. But, you know... It's it's something different about when you put that mask on. It's like you're mm -hmm. your own identity that night. Yeah, you know? or you can be whoever you want because yeah. they don't know who who's you behind are. the mask. It, exactly. So that whole mystery is kind of, you know, fun. And again, it's for a good cause. We're going to actually have that kid there that wins. We're going to present him the check at the event. Okay. You know, so just kind of getting good people around, good energy, good vibes, and more people that want to make a difference. Nice. Well, save the date for Thanksgiving Saturday, yes. November 24th at the India House of the Bourbon Masquerade Ball hosted by Houston Moves. Um, so this should be this should be great. And this this scholarship program, that's dope. Like, you know, I know a handful, but there's not enough, you know, young black men who are doing it in the community, you know, right. in, in their lives that are giving back. And trying to make a difference. Yes, yes. So uh, definitely appreciate it. I, I appreciate you, man. I'm just, you know, trying to let people know that there are good, you know, young entrepreneurs, millennials at that. Because, um, you know, there's been a lot going on with generational differences. Oh, man. Oh, and, man. And talking about know, the NAACP. Right. I saw you last ordeal. week, man. You man. almost got beat up. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but That was crazy. People Definitely. need to really, you know, respect us as millennials, as individuals that are serious, that have business savvy, and are really trying to make different strides to improve the community. And sometimes those are innovative ideas. It might mm -hmm. be things that people aren't used to. A lot of, you know, baby bloomers and older, they don't like change. But when you do change you realize that, hey, this actually worked. Well, you know, if people don't like change or they have a hard time adjusting to change, mm -hmm. you got to get over yourself because, as you right. just said, change is inevitable. It One is. of my grandmother's favorite songs before she um, passed, and I actually sang this song at her funeral, was Everything Must Change. Mm. That was her. She liked the Lou Rawls version, so... Mm -hmm. I gave a little jazzy Lou Rawls rendition of everything must change. But listening to the words of those songs when I was, you know, teaching myself uh, that song. I was like, it's Dang, surreal. Mom, you're right. Yes. Everything must change. Like, 
And, and and that's with the internet, with social media, with digital marketing, mm-hmm. with, you know, you can't stay complacent or you're going to get left behind. I mean, the digital game has, the, the rules Erupted. keep changing, yeah. like, yearly. Like, you yeah. know, they say it's about this one year, the next year, no, now it's about this, and, right. and this year, it's now about this, so... You know, yeah, change is inevitable. So um, thank you for coming through hey, thanks and, for and, having and, me. and putting your resources toward what is really important mm-hmm. and the fight that has really been the common denominator of our struggle as black people and just as human beings. Mm-hmm. And that is education. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Education and has been the common denominator of it all. The civil rights movement mm-hmm. was about Education. 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 You know what I mean? When we were slaves, the white man did not want us to know how to read because he did not want us to educate ourselves. Exactly. Because if we knew our power and we had the knowledge, they knew and, and still know yes. that we would invoke major change with within ourselves. That's why they want to keep us oppressed. Right. And this is kind of extreme. But think about LeBron James. Like he opened those schools in Ohio. Like mm-hmm. he sees the bigger picture. We have to invest in education. Mm-hmm. And that was another reason why it was that it's more touching to me because we can't talk about the generations that are up to come if we're not willing to invest in them. Mm-hmm. You know, Sit anybody down. can talk, but who's investing? Who's who's really putting their money where their mouth is? Who's putting their money to work? Well, I can say one. Dewan Claiborne from Houston Moves. Bro, thank you for coming on, G. Hey, no problem. No problem. No problem. Hey, thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure. Best radio station out here. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate that. And thank you for listening to Access Houston.